So we have another Karen on the airplane. Karen is, is, is getting into somebody else's business. It has nothing to do with her and started a big old ruckus. Let's go ahead and roll that clip. Yes, you are. Yeah, you but you're fucking asshole. Who invited I'm you? Eating, I'm eating and I can drink your ass up. Don't you, you dare talk to me like that. Head. Can I damn it? You stand here and stand here and step up. Stand your ass up. Stand your ass up. Sit down, Karen. What I don't understand, I don't, I don't want to know how he even got started. This dude said that I'm drinking water, so he don't have to have his mask on while he's drinking water if he's eating. That's been the general rule. She's walking around without her mask on. She's supposed to have it on on the plane. I don't understand what is so hard about following a simple freaking rule. You, everyone knows there's a mask mandate when you are on the plane, but but certain people, Karen and her community, can't follow simple rules. Simple, simple rules. Put your freaking mask on, go to your destination, wherever you're going. And then, you know, when you get out the airport, you know, take it off and, and, and do what you got to do. I don't see what's so hard about that. We've been dealing with this mess almost two years and y'all still acting like y'all never dealt with this before. Y'all some hard headed people, hard, hard head. And that, that's why a lot of things has been happening in this freaking pandemic to y'all more than any other group, but they don't want to talk about that. Y'all the one getting the most arrested by these mask, you know, violations. Y'all the one attacking each other on the plane more than any other group. Y'all sitting up here, you know, can't, uh, don't want to get tested. Don't, I mean, it's a whole, and then let's call it what it is. More of y'all have passed away with that virus than any other group too, because if it was black folk, like they would have never created a jab. You know what I'm saying? Cause you're hard headed. Don't want to wash your hands. Don't want to social distance. Don't want to do anything. Just so hard headed. And that's good. She going to jail. That's a good place for Karen. Karen need to be in, in jail. As a matter of fact, she needs some federal charges on her for that. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to the Atlanta police for doing a great, great job. I applaud them hitting that man in the face. You started that. Okay. He called you the B word and y'all call each other that. What you want to hit him for Karen? But anyway, Y'all let me know what you think about this Karen here in this video. Like I said, just losing her freaking mind on the plane. Like I said, we have covered so many stories of Karen just doing the most.